Uh, I brought with me Captain Joe Pettis, and I know most of y'all probably know Joe. Joe's been with the city now for <coughs> how many years, Joe? 28. 28 years. Uh, but I, I wanted to, uh, first of all, let y'all know that we, we're concerned. And, and we're here because we're concerned, and we want to hear what you have to say, and we want to share information with you. And I wanted Joe here because Joe's over the patrol division. If there's any concerns that we need to, uh, to get to the patrol, Joe's the one to do that. Also, uh, Shane Nolte, is he still here? He is. He's outside. The Did he run outside? No, I hear you. Okay, step in here just a second. Corporal Shane Nolte is, a lot of you may know Shane. Shane's been to the city now for 16 years. Shane is, uh, is a school resource officer. He works all of our juvenile crime. Uh, he's a corporal, and, and, and currently he is in charge of investigation. So he, he, he plays a, he wears several different hats. And uh, Fred King is one of our investigators. And I'm going to, and I introduced Dan Stankowski, I think he's probably still okay, he's one of our council members. And what I'd like to do is turn it over to Fred and let Fred go ahead and run through what's actually occurred in the Montrose community. And then, uh, and then we'll uh, have some other information we'll give out to you, then hopefully we'll answer some questions for you. Fred, if you would please pick it up. Steve, I have one question before we get started. Oh, Montrose is here. Is anybody patrolling? <laughs> <laughs> I think Jimmy Davis lives on that queen. I think he's here as well, isn't he? <laughs> yes, sir. We, we have some yes, patrols. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that, is, that is an excellent point. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. On that. Ladies and gentlemen, as the Chief said, you know, welcome. You know, when I first talked to Kelly, Kelly had expressed some concern that there have been several break-ins into residences, garages, pool houses, things of that nature within 500 yards of his house. He said that the residents were concerned that some of the residents were, gosh, what's the politically correct way to say it, older than me, <laughs> um, and had some concerns about the safety in the neighborhood. Because just like as Kelly said, you know, people have lived here their whole lives, never locked their doors, never had anything come up missing, never had to worry about the kids playing in the yard, never had to worry about anything. And now all of a sudden, as the neighbors got out and started talking to each other, it's like, yeah, my stuff's missing. Well, my stuff's missing too. Look, your stuff's missing. Terrible things are happening in our little community. And as y'all know, y'all all live in Montrose with the exception of a few people. It's a great community. That's a wonderful part of town. If all of us could live there, we'd probably be out of that crowd and elbows with y'all. Um, and so it's a shock when all these things all of a sudden are bad things are happening in your quiet little community. Some of it for us, and I know this sounds terrible, as we went back and looked, with the exception of one gentleman that's had the misfortune to be visited on several occasions, you know, we've had in the last 10 months, we've had nine break-ins with one exception. You know, it added a little bit to that number. Nine break-ins in, in, let's say, a year, one of the emails I got, it told me that we were speaking tonight on the crime wave in Montrose. <laughs> um, as I spoke to a, a young lady earlier in here that, who moved over here from Mobile, they know what a crime wave is. Last, I don't remember, 2009, I don't know if y'all remember, down on Scenic 98, and once again, as Kelly told me, Scenic 98 for me starts up there above the pier and goes that way. For some, a lot of people, Scenic 98 is still Main Street also. You know, I'm still having problems with Greeno Road and not Highway 98. So, but for me, Scenic 98 down in Point Clear, we had over 60 break-ins in a three-month period. We lost over 100 flat-screen televisions down there. That was a crime wave. 